smaller fish just come up and took either a water boatman or an emerging midge just on the surface film didn't really break the surface film he just he just swirled under it give me down low get my rod tip down as low as possible. But if those fish have just gone past me <coughs> to within the last minute from left to right, they're about five metres out. So in these conditions, you really don't want to be casting at them with no wind. There's a big fish over here. Good fish in here today. There's a good one coming back here. And there's two coming here. Got him. Size 16 pheasant tail. First cast of the morning. Second, maybe. There's another one there, look. It's a good fish, this one. This is the bigger one of those two. There's some bigger fish around by the looks of it. It'd be three pounder. It's getting smaller the closer it gets in. Betty. Good fish. Maybe four pound. But I know that is a stunning young jackfish. Keeping him in the water. Size 16 pheasant. Oh, he just hammered that. Oh, that's a fat four pounder. And there's more of them out there. I haven't seen any other cruisers since I caught that fish. I'm just going to head out in the lake now for the next few hours to see what we can encounter out there. Right. I'll do a little bit of harling while the wind is down. Got a little pheasant tail on the back here. And just get out in a bit of deeper water and we'll just tie it around very slowly. The water depth looks about a metre and a bit, maybe four feet there. Nice weed beds.
You guys are right. Maybe not huge. Stepping. Nice looking rainbow. condition, excellent condition. Two good fish to start the day. Yeah, there's a few fish for us now there. Fledgy. Another one. Oh, here we go. It's just like that. Straight away, just have to land in the other one. This one sounds a bit hefty. Again, coming towards me. It's a better one. Saw a 16 pheasant tail doing the damage here. Who would believe it? Yeah, it doesn't scrap. <laughs> Come back, fish. I need my back in. Fighters. Uh, fighters. I like that brownie this morning. <clears throat> I'd only just released that fish two minutes before hooking this one. Specimen of a wild rainbow trout. Look at this. Three and a half chunky steel chrome. Alright, kill. Obviously, the lake's fish are in peak condition. <laughs> yeah. Three stunners within the first hour. There's only one fly you could use, it would have to be a size 16 pheasant tail. You can just use it in every situation. I've even caught sea runs with them on the lower Rakai that have been absolutely crammed full of smelt. It's just, it's just a nondescript little bug. It could be a midge, it could be a water boatman, it could be a mayfly. I've caught them, plenty of trout on them, using them as tiny little immature cockapulies. It's just the way you fish them a lot of the time. You gotta keep trying new things. You gotta tr keep trying different speeds, different fly lines, different flies. 
lengthen your leader, shorten your leader. Use an anchor, just drift. You've got to keep mixing it up. Oh, here we go, another fish at it. Just hit it and didn't hook up. It was definitely a fish. Definitely fish hit it, but didn't hook up. Just keep moving in those situations because sometimes they follow. fly must be down on the hit zone. There's a rise out behind my fly. Here we go. Here we go. There's a fish there. Is that weed? It's a fish. <laughs> Goodness gracious, this is madness. Madness. Maybe not. Oh, that's a decent one. I think that's him on the surface there. Yep. See the importance of keeping the fly in the water once the fish has had a go at it but hasn't hooked up. Don't strike until your line tightens. And you just feel it. You can feel fish just plucking at your fly. Just, you know, nipping at them. Just keep, just keep moving. They'll quite often come back and have a second dig. More times than not they do. Bars of chrome, these ones. They're not always like that. All the lakes go in cycles, so you gotta you've got to, you know, take the good with the bad. Two years ago the fish were pretty poor to be honest. And uh, this year they seem to be pretty good. Oh no, it's another good one. Uh, hooked in the tip of the nose again. On this one, would you? Let's have a look. The mold winter hasn't done these fish any harm. Look, see how this is the best of them all, I think. Let's have a look at this fish. Look at that fish. That's a four pound rainbow. It looks like a steelhead. Oh my goodness, what a stunner! Oh, she goes. Whoa. Back into it. Um, keep going, I guess. That's four. Four. That's three in the lake in about 15 minutes. 20 maybe. Got him on the lift. As I lifted it, got one. <laughs> Fluke. <laughs> Flukey much. I just went to lift my fly. I just thought I'd just, just in case one's following it, I'll um, just drag it up slowly. Bang. One took it. And what have we got? A brown or a skinny rainbow, maybe. It worked out great. You know, you're having a good day when those sort of things pay off. Pretty different point here. Slow and cumbersome. You're coming up. And that is a. An older rainbow, not like the other ones. It's all fighting well there. It looks like a reasonable trip. Hooked on the tip of the nose again. And 
has a rainbow of about three pound. Maybe a bit bigger actually. Maybe a bit bigger. Okay, three and a quarter, three. Yeah, a bit of a three pound. Nice, nice, excellent. Number five. Making my way back down the lake, there's a few fish rising there. Look, two just rose here. There's beetles on the water, there's midges on the water. Oh, one right here. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, right. Must be due for another take. It's been five minutes. There's, there's quite a few fish around. Not normally like this, it's just one of those days. Gotta be here when the action's hot. Come up here another time when it's just dead. Let's just wait and see. The fish sees that and I've, I'll take it, no doubt about it. Oh, I'd be pretty confident. Just gotta wait for these fish to come within casting distance now. Got one, just like that. Don't know if you've seen the indicator go. Just like that. Oh, too, too good. Is that, that was just, just too good. That was amazing. First cast, new technique. Seldom do you fish the same way all day long, even out in the float tube. You continually got to find ways of falling the fish because they won't be feeding the same way all day long. They might start out in midges, change to snails or dragonfly nymphs. It could be a green beetle hatch and they're taking those. Could be chasing cockabullies in the shallows. You just got to keep mixing it up. You can't just stick with one technique. As soon as something doesn't work, stops working, think about why. And maybe it's time to change. Which is what I just did, straight into another fish. He's coming up near the surface now, I think. Don't want to go into the weeds, and I'm unsure how deep I'm fishing. So, I know the weed beds are quite lush from what I've seen when I got them in the lake this morning. Quite lush. So, it's only a couple of metres deep. A fish can easily get in there. Feels like a good fish. Giving them quite a lot. Giving them. Rainbow. Better. Right, normal standards is a pretty decent rainbow for a Canterbury High Country Lake. Yeah, it'd be um, three and a half to three and three quarter. Good fish, good fish, happy with that. Fought well. That's a half a dozen up, and we're only still in the early stages of the morning. Okay, so now you can see there's a bit of a bit of a breeze coming up on the lake. Things are quietened off, quietened off and uh, looks like the trout may have stopped rising for midges so I'm gonna go back to my original setup here. Yeah, I don't know if it's here to stay the wind. Well, it's only a light breeze but it'll pick up as the day goes on generally. Um, that's alright. Like I said earlier got to be prepared to change your technique to suit the conditions. So now that the sun has come out again, the wind has backed off a little bit. <coughs> I can still see a few rings out. Here we go. Yep. yep. Oh, here we go. Nice. Perfectly timed, I would think. A couple of fish have been the sort of average fish. Still good, but not like the first four. There we go. Already I've got this fish up near the surface. 
First four are all stunners. Okay, not as good as those early morning fish. I actually think this fish plucked out my fly a couple of times, just very lightly before I was able to get a solid take from them and see the hook. That's what I felt like anyway. It may have been a bit of weed, not sure. Here we go, fishy. It's like a jack, about three to three and a half pound. They've appeared smaller in the water than what they've been in reality. So I'm calling it three pound by the looks of it in the water, it might be three and a half. But we'll see here, get a good look at it. There we go. Yeah, that'd be three and a half probably. Three and a quarter, three and a half. Hooks out, easy peasy. Yeah, it's nice and cool. And uh, I just switched back over to that technique. Oh, that's a lovely jackfish of, yeah, it'd be three and a half to three and three quarter. Lovely fish, good condition. There you go, buddy, your weight. Nice, nice, number seven. That's a solid tally. Um, any day in a Canterbury Highland Country Lake, if you can pull out seven like that, seven good fish, you've had a good day. But anyway, yeah, I can feel that fish plucking away at my nymph. Plucked at it a couple of times. Like someone's just grabbing it with their hand and just pulling ever slowly, slightly back. And uh, you know you can feel him taking it, and he wasn't satisfied. He wanted to have a bit more of a pull, so he came in and took it again. And that time when I pulled taut, but uh, if anything, I might have been a little bit quick on the um, on the strike. But with a size 16 as well, you quite often miss fish. It's only a little hook. Here we go. Yeah. Back in. That's a bit of one. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, he's fighting like those earlier fish, isn't he? Clean that reel out a wee bit. It's been neglected a little bit for me. So I apologise for the squeak in my reel. This could be the fish of the day. I'm not sure it doesn't look that long now. Maybe just good condition. Still putting resistance on there, even though it's on the surface. Even though it's on the surface, it's still resisting. Don't know if it's um, table fear or not. This one. Still not done. Nice wee hen. You know, to be honest, I think I've had better today. It's an excellent fish, but I've had deeper ones than that. So, I'll give it once over and I think she can go back in. I think I can do better. She's just fought like a champ. We'll get a good look at her though. I'm going to have a look at her. What is she going to weigh? Oh yeah, the chingy is a good fish, but I've had better today. Yeah, get in the sun there. Beautiful. Fought like a champ. The champ goes back. Excellent.